Oh, yep, and oh. Uh, 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 uh. Hey gearheads, welcome back to BZB TV. This is Nate back here from the tech support team and today we're going to be doing a video on how to take your NDI stream from your BG 4K Adamo camera and bring it into vMix. We get a lot of questions about how to do this, how to make sure your NDI stream is good, where is my NDI stream and how to access it and also turn it on with the camera as well as just how simple it is to add it into vMix as a uh, video source. And so today it's we're just going to go over the setup and how to do that. Um, so let's jump in. First thing I'm going to do is go over our setup. Uh, number one thing is make sure your camera is networked. We actually have other videos on how to network your camera to your local network because you want to make sure your computer and your camera are all on the same network so the NDI stream knows where to go. Um, so if you have not networked your camera to your local network, go ahead and check out a video up here uh, to do that and then come on back here to this video. Um, and so for setup, we have just our, our network PoE switch here. It's powering on the camera as well as providing uh, network connectivity because it's plugged into our local network. Also, I have my computer plugged in directly. This is also PoE, like I mentioned, so it's powering on the camera. So not only is this is uh, providing network connectivity, it's also providing power and easily, um, and that's gonna send the NDI stream back through that cable into the computer. So it removes the need for uh, HDMI cables, HDMI extenders, SDI cables, long runs, or, and just you have everything you need uh, for simplicity, but also quality. So um, now I'm just gonna go ahead, once we have everything set up cameras network I'm gonna go ahead and jump in the computer and kind of walk you through how to access that NDI stream okay so first thing we want to do is go ahead and log into our camera as you can see our camera is already networked to our local network and I got the login page right here login is admin I know how to type admin admin there you go, and boom, there is, oh, look at that, some of our awards for this camera that we're shooting with. And so what we want to do with the Adamo, go ahead and go to your configuration, and you're going to go all the way down the left side here, go to NDI, and um, what's great about these cameras, NDI is enabled out of the box, and um, you have the option for NDI HX2 or HX3, um, highly recommend HX3, um, our camera supports that. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and rename this NDI stream so I can find it. If I have multiple cameras, if I have multiple NDI streams, you can find out which one's which. Um, so I'm going to call this NDI camera one. And you want to keep it public the group you can leave that there and I'm gonna hit save and it's gonna prompt me to reboot so I'm gonna go ahead and do that to activate that and change the name of the NDI stream so that's rebooting a couple other things you're gonna need I highly recommend downloading the new tech NDI tools package um, this has a lot of great NDI uh, sources and NDI um, applications you can use and what I like to do to just to test that my NDI stream is coming into my computer before I jump into vMix I use the NDI studio the new tech studio monitor um, so if you haven't just you can even google search NDI tools package um, new tech NDI tools package we can leave a link above it's they're all free it's it's great great resources and so I'm gonna go ahead and jump in over to um, my studio monitor and NDI tools 5 NDI 5 tools excuse me and then we're gonna go to studio monitor and then just to add a step I like to do just to make sure, like I mentioned, that your NDI stream is coming in correctly. And um, so go ahead and click on the hamburger at the top left while it's open, NDI HX, and then look at that, 8 NDI camera 1, and pulls it right in. Give it a second, it's gonna pop up, there we go. And what's great about this is, over because what NDI, it provides video, audio, and control. So the studio, studio monitor actually has control. Um, so you can do some presets, you can go you use a joystick here and there, uh, but that's just I use this as a, as a tester just to test my NDI stream. So we know we're good. We know that our camera and computer are talking correctly. So I'm going to now just easily just go ahead and jump into um, vMix. So we got here, we got vMix and all, all you have to do is on the bottom left corner, I like to click on this little arrow next to add input, go to more, pops up. And then you're gonna to go to NDI Desktop Capture, and then it gives it a second, and then it's gonna pull in your NDI stream, and boom, there it is, NDI Camera One. I'm just gonna click on this, hit OK, and 
there it is. Now you have your NDI stream coming into vMix. And that's how easy it is. Just make sure everything is networked correctly. Just go ahead and test, test your stream with Studio Monitor. Make sure you can label your NDI stream so you can easily file, find it and just bring it into vMix. Um, very, very simple. So uh, as always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. I'd love to answer your questions. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to videos like these so you'll be notified when more videos like these come out. And as always, have a great day.